Great segment there with Randy Peterson. On the road, our 2004-05 PBA Tour schedule. Chicago opens coming from suburban Chicago, Chicago land. Vernon Hills, Illinois, next week. Then the Uniroyal Tire Classic in Wy Wycliffe, Ohio. That is near Cleveland. Don't forget, folks, we saw in the Chicagoland area as well, there are three different spots for the Pro-Amps to sign up. You'll have the top PBA players with you. Head to www.pba.com for all the latest information on the PBA Tour. New features on the site allow you to register to bowl in programs. Purchase tickets for upcoming tour stops and view archive PBA telecast. All that and more at pba.com. Great matchup coming up just moments away. Patrick Healy Jr. 1-0 against PA on T-Day so far. Trying to continue the trend next. Seen here at Miller Park, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, home of the Milwaukee Brewers. The first time the PBA Tour has opened with a major since the 1997 Tournament of Champions on Halloween. Ooh, that's spooky. Dave Ryan, Randy Peterson, Beth Moen, Lane Side with Patrick Healy Jr., the number two seed going for his first ever Masters. Thank you very much, Dave. Well, Patrick, uh, you won at the Tournament of Champions last year for your first major. How will that experience, do you think, help you in this environment today? Well, I, with any major, I mean, the conditions are difficult on purpose, and uh, it gives me confidence to know that I, I did it once and I can do it again, as well as the arena setting. I, I enjoy this, so I, uh, I feel very confident about it. All right, thank you very much, Patrick. Dave? Jeff Patrick told us he is bold and more than 14 ABC Masters he could recall in his career. And getting to the round of eight this year was the best he's ever done. So he's made some history already as he tries to win his second ever major. And his second in a 12-month span. December, the Dexter Tournament of Champions in Connecticut. Took care of our very own Randy Peterson. An exciting final. Now from the Metroplex of Dallas. I mean, this lane is split to deal with. nowhere near the same. <laughs> Judging by that first shot that Pat Healy Jr. just threw, he was way inside, and that ball had no chance of holding its line to the 1-3 pocket. It goes high, leaving the 310. The idea here is to cover both pins with the bowling ball. They have a look at it, and an open to start the match for Patrick Healy Jr. He was really surprised with the way the ball reacted. This is the same on the first shot. Catches too much of the three pin, and not enough to deflect that spare ball into the ten. And right now, Dave Ryan, it looks to me like Patrick Allen has a big advantage in terms of lane conditions. Looks like his side stayed pretty good. It looks like the right-handers may have blown their pattern out. Staying hot, Patrick Allen. Pretty interested in the feature we saw a few moments ago, Randy, with you, about the choice of with whom he'd like to dine men women in history dead or alive three recent sports stars franklin Delano roosevelt napoleon i mean there are a lot of choices there yeah he, he, and he took jason couch now no offense jay's a buddy of mine but i mean i i think i could go with michael jordan or or uh tiger woods or jack nicholas he is focused on sports, no doubt about it. Baby Ruth, real deal matchup, Randy. The two Patricks. Well, we showed you Brian Bogosian and PA. Brian Bogosian out averaged PA by 12. Well, Pat Healy Jr. out averaged him by 16. However, I think that's going to flip flop in this match. Better. He liked it much better off the hand, and he's in the pocket. Now take a look here at where Brian Bogosian was playing. Now even though he's straighter and um, firmer than Patrick Healy, he's still playing outside second arrow. Starts around second arrow, drifts out to about the seventh, eighth board. What a great feature for our four major telecasts this year. Strong motion, really get a chance to see the path of that ball. Yeah, it's a great. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. 
I showed you where Brian Bogosian was playing. Pat Healy Jr., obviously much further left. First shot that he threw where he went high, he changed balls and went a little bit straighter. I didn't touch it. No. He came away with a double. Wow. That's an elaborate outfit. Is that you? It was not me, thankfully. Presented by Miller Lite. Sunday Night Football coming up. 49ers and the Bears tonight, 8.30 Eastern Time here on ESPN. Also available on ESPN HD. It all starts NFL Primetime presented by Miller Lite. 7.30 Eastern Time. 49ers, Bears. Two teams that have really struggled trying to get something going in the NFC. Patrick Allen. Seven pin. Pretty good shot here. He's going to leave a week seven, but you know what? I'll take this all day long on this stuff. He liked it out of his hand. Pretty close to perfect single pin conversion numbers. That would be a buck here at Miller Park. That's a baseball term that applies to bowling, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Somebody out. There's a 25 second shot clock that's yeah, to that? Pat's left. Okay. I think it was somebody howling. Maybe uh, one of the trick or treaters uh, with the werewolf mask. We've got ghosts and ghouls everywhere at Miller Park today. Despite the momentary delay, Sorry, bro. Mark's there with a seven hey, pin. No problem, buddy. No problem. Take your time. Hey, I heard it. I heard it. Yeah, you're right. We've got some incredible costumes. Happy Halloween to all. Hope you're having a safe and happy Halloween so far. Trick or treating in the East should get going in just a couple of hours, right? What are you going as? PBA broadcaster. <laughs> and, a, <laughs> and a fine one, I may <laughs> add. Or, well, at least in, uh, in this book, pal, you're the best. Seven pin again for Patrick Allen. You know, I think if I were to go trick or treating, I would want to go as Darth Vader. And why is that? I'd want a real lightsaber, too. Can we get back to the bowling? Okay. <laughs> PA leaving back to Great back. Idea. Back to back week sevens. And all, that that is, all, all that is, is is a little adjustment with speed. Just a pinch softer. That ball turned the corner a little harder. We saw Brian Bogosian, the huge Red Sox fan. It was tough for PA to watch his Yankees, beloved Yankees, go down. We heard he wished he could have dinner with Don Mattingly and Andy Pettit. It's two of his three choices. So that must have stung. Big lifestyle change for Patrick Healy as well. Oh, oh, God, Trying to coax that ball into the pocket, but it's hot. Yeah, and anytime you hear a player say push, that means they pulled it. They're trying to get the ball to lay off so it doesn't go high. On this pattern, ABC, lane conditions, the ball won't push. Over the summer, Patrick and his wife Teresa, stepson Victor, moved from Mexico City, Mexico to Flower Mound, Texas. And a chop, look out! Another open for Patrick Healy yeah, Jr. Meant to happen, I guess. Well, he slips right here, and then he pulls it just a pinch, and then he chops plastic ball. the three straight off the six pin with a plastic ball. Something a lot of the bowlers, Randy, were worried about. We talked to them during warm-ups. These are brand new lanes here. They didn't bowl on these lanes at all during all the qualifying. Different bowling center here in suburban Milwaukee. Several talked about trouble with footing on the approach. The first ball that Pat Healy Jr. threw on the left lane wasn't very successful. Look how deep inside he was. Well, since then, he's made a much straighter move, getting the ball further to the right. Yeah! And he's been much more successful, with the exception of the missed spare in the fourth frame. PA tries to stay hot. Love 
Bush in the pocket, 10 down the pit. Patrick Allen has been on. Patrick telling us last night to win a major would be an incredible career accomplishment. He has won two PBA Standard Tour titles, but a major is something that will go in the record books forever, something everyone will remember to distinguish him as a great champion. Without question. That's high. You know, two of the four remain. And the other thing, on the PBA Tour, for as long as I can remember, there was always this battle between left-handers and right-handers and lane conditions and all this other garbage. But the fact of the matter remains that Patrick Allen is making a statement that not only is he the best left-hander on tour right now, and I know that Parker and Jason will both argue with me uh, with that, but he's one of the best bowlers, period, on the tour. Picks up the mark. Patrick Allen on his way to facing Danny Wiseman for the ABC Masters title and more on the way. Masters on ESPN is brought to you by Odor Eaters and unique Zorbatex technology destroys foot odor and absorbs sweat on contacts. By Geico, you too could save 15% or more on car insurance. Call Geico at 1-800-947-AUTO. And by Uniroyal Tires, the official tire of the PBA Tour. Uniroyal Tires, trusted by American families since 1892. This time of year, you take the yacht out on Lake Michigan. Waters could be a little bit choppy. There's match number two, which will continue in a moment. Patrick Allen in great shape. Patrick Healy, a couple of opens, trying to stay alive. Number two seed, Patrick Healy, known as a guy who keeps his eyes on the prize. Randy explains in this week's Dexter approach. Dave, one of the key ingredients to winning major championships is being a shot maker, an accurate player. And Pat Healy Jr. is no exception. I want you to watch his head here. Watch how steady, eddy, and level this head stays throughout the entire approach. It comes up just slightly at release. If you can't keep your eyes focused on your target, you can't hit it. This week's Dexter approach, Patrick Haley Jr., who has been off, unfortunately for him, with a couple of opens in the first and the fourth frames. He trails by 23 pins. Coming to you from Miller Park, home of the Milwaukee Brewers. First ever PBA event, Major League Baseball Stadium in front of a huge crowd of more than 5,000. A little bit high, but a break. And Pat Healy Jr. with another ball change. He's really making the right decisions. And you can see he's being a technician out on the lanes. He's not just throwing it one different way. Last night, he told us that what he's trying to do is get his ball to read the middle part of the lane a certain way, whether it's with his release or with a certain bowling ball. You notice he's got a different bowling ball in his hand on the left lane, something that's a little more skid flippy. Does he make the right adjustments? Yeah. Good kick. Patrick also told us last night, Randy, he thinks the ABC Masters is the toughest tournament to win because of the grind you go through. He's got a tough moment here coming up. Without question. These are two separate frames from Pat Healy Jr., and they look like they're identical. That's why he's a shot maker. That's why he's a major champion. Repeating, repeating, repeating is the key to winning and being successful at this level in our sport. Patrick Allen is true. The bug. The fly. PA responds like only PA can, not intimidated, intimidated by anyone or anything, gets up and just pures it. Time to go. Time to go, Hoss. I don't like this, though. This could be a distraction. He's in a nice rhythm. He's shooing bugs away off the approach. He really needs to take his time and regroup. He has no room to open here. As you see what he's done on the left and right lanes. In his two matches so far, 
Impressive win over Brian Bogosian in the first and now trying to take care of Patrick Haley Jr. to face Danny Wiseman in the final. So much at stake. Didn't like that at all, but gets a break. Four pins ripped up. He turned away from his shot. He's got enough that he has to lean there. He's got to do that too. And Patrick Healy Jr. can't believe his luck. Well, I don't agree with the comment Patrick Healy just made. I don't think that PA has the lane, but that was an incredible break. And the last thing that Pat Healy Jr. should be thinking about is anything that Patrick Allen's doing. Let's head down to Beth Mullins with a special guest. Well, thank you very much, guys. I'm with Roger Dalkin, who is the executive director of the ABC and the CEO of the newly formed United States Bowling Congress, which is the national governing body for bowling. And, Roger, I guess the most important thing for the folks at home is they want to know how will this affect them locally. Excellent question. The first time in the history of bowling in the United States, bowlers will have a single source of service, of information, of products, and of enjoyment. And with the combined resources of three of the largest bowling organizations in the world, the uh, new services and products they'll get are going to be limitless. All right. Thank you very much, Roger. We appreciate thank you, it. Appreciate Guys, it. back to you. Beth, thank you. Patrick Hewitt, Jr. A touch high, perhaps. Ten down. A touch high flush, Dave. What a big time shot when he needed it most. This is a three pin match. If both guys go to the wall, meaning they strike out, PA, Patrick Allen shoots 248. Pat Healy Jr., the best he can shoot, 245. It's all going to come down to who shows up, who wants it the most in the ninth and tenth frame. ball 60 feet to success for Patrick Haley Jr. Amazing to think he's in this spot after the two opens. He's in this spot because he peered this one. He's been making great shots. Those eyes never left the target and that ball is perfectly flushed and he knows now the onus is on PA. Five bagger for Healy Jr. Allen hopes for the turkey ball. It's for three in a row. Gets it. The PA looks emotionless now, but with two more strikes in the 10th frame and eight pins, PA will shut out Pat Healy Jr. Patrick nope. bowled in and competed very well in some regionals over the summer. The offseason, Randy told us last night, few matches I had to step up in the ninth and tenth frames and strike to win key matches so he's in that competitive mode it's all on the left arm delivers again takes advantage of the huge break when he crossed over and went Brooklyn on this very lane and now Patrick Allen is one strike and eight pins away from bowling for his first major championship ever. He has made an ABC Masters final, 93, as an amateur. Lost to Norm Duke in the championship match. Trying to get back. Strike. Just needs eight here to clinch it. What a finish for PA. Victory here puts him in the final against the top seed, Danny Wiseman, who did not lose. Perfect record. Coming in to today's show. He'll take 10 instead. Patrick Allen is in the final. He's clinched at least. The $50,000 second place prize. And PA gets up in the tenth, ninth and tenth frame, shows some ill skill, and just makes a six shot for the win right here. 
A little break, okay, trips the six out, but it was good enough to be a winner. That's how you started. What a finish. Someone today, Randy, here in Milwaukee will win his first ever major championship. Either Danny Wiseman, the top uh -huh. seed, or a very relieved left-hander, Patrick Allen. The first frame. Nice pick up there for Patrick Healy, whose stepson Victor is watching back at home in the Metroplex of the Dallas area. Three of Victor's friends made the trip from Mexico to visit their buddy today in the Healy Jr. household. Right now. Thank you. You're awesome. Great week for Patrick Healy Jr. And off to a great start this season. Danny Wiseman, Patrick Allen are set to go head to head. He's 1-0. Is Allen against Wiseman? A title match last year in Philly. This big title match is next.